Hey y'all, today we're gonna get started on our wonderful aspen trees or birch trees. Um, we're starting off with just some um, kind of little flimsy paper. This is newsprint paper. Um, this is just our practice paper, so don't stress out about messing up on this. This is where you're gonna get comfortable with this technique. We're using what's called a mat board square, and for any teachers that are watching this, this is basically the material you can get at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or any frame shop. So it's actual mat board. Now you could try this with cardboard or another material, but I find that in my experience, the mat board works the very best for this. A Little bit of black paint on my tray. Less is more. So I'm just picking one of my edges to use for my little painting edge. And notice I'm tapping a good bit because again, less is more. It's better to have too little paint than too much paint. I'm gonna put my mat board square down on my paper and bring it across just like that. Now, I'm not gonna go over that spot more than once. Even if I don't have much paint there, that's okay. And notice I also flipped my little mat board square. Boop, there we go. I'm gonna dip it and get a tiny bit more. Notice I'm also moving down in kind of a straightish line. Now, I didn't get much paint off right there, but that's okay. You'll see that some of these places where I don't have much paint at all are gonna look really, really cool. There we go. So now I've got one side to my tree. Now we're gonna be doing two sides to each tree. Since I'm right-handed, I find it easiest to put my little mat board square down and pull to the right. So I'm actually gonna turn my paper over and work like this. Now, if you don't wanna turn your paper over, if you can pull your hand in the other direction, that's absolutely fine too. You also might wanna decide which end you want to be the base of the tree versus going up. So you might wanna make it a little bit wider. So I'm kind of working almost upside down right here. Oop, I didn't get much paint right there, is that okay? Yes, that's okay. Oop, didn't get much right there either. And actually, that's gonna be really cool. And there we go. So now, I'm flipping it back upright. So you can see I made my tree a little bit wider right there, so it's gonna be kind of going up like that. I'm gonna do one more tree. Again, practicing and just getting comfortable with this technique. And just a little bit more down there. Oop, there we go. If you get paint on the tables, it wipes right up. Don't worry about it. And again, now I'm working upside down, so I'm gonna make this end at the top a little bit wider. Again, notice I'm not going over the same spot more than one time, I'm just letting it be, because too much paint starts to look a little messy on here. Okay, now, turn it back upside down. Whoop, there we go. Now, are you ready for the branches? They are super hard. You ready? Boop, there you go. <laughs> That is all. The branches are easy peasy. I'm just putting my mat board down like that. Now, if you want to practice one more time, that is absolutely fine. If you wanna keep your practice paper and take it home with you today, that is absolutely fine too. What you'll do is you're just gonna write your name somewhere on the front, okay? And then <clears throat> we will line it up actually probably at the front of the room, just on the floor out of the way. If you have room at your table, you can put it out of your way too, and you can take this home if you'd like, or you can throw it away, it's up to you. Moving along to the final paper. Now it's up to you. You can do this either horizontal or vertical, completely up to you. I'm gonna keep mine horizontal. Dip into my paint again. Let me make sure that this is right in the screen for you. There we go. And go on ahead. So you wanna make sure that you're really comfortable with this technique before you move on to the final paper. So we got that one side done. Again, I just like to flip it over. I think it's easiest. It's up to you how many trees you wanna do. You can make some skinny trees, you can make some fat trees. Um, you can make them close together, far apart. You can make some trees going diagonal if you want. Be creative, have fun.
Okay, so I accidentally dropped my mat board right there. So I'm gonna turn that into just a fun little branch. Easy peasy. Boop, there we go. Happy accident. It almost looks like a little bug sitting there. That might be kind of fun to play with that when we start to paint with some other colors too. Just adding my little branches. Easy peasy, keeping it nice and simple. And there we go. That concludes our first part. Thanks, guys.